make things on you. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Let's jump into some news. But before we get into that news, let's check that market cap as usual. We got a total market cap of two trillion five hundred and seventy billion. We also have fourteen thousand seven hundred and sixty one cryptocurrencies uh, in existence at the moment. We have a Bitcoin dominance of forty one point forty eight percent and Ethereum at nineteen point six six percent. Now jumping into some news, we have Shiba and Doge are the most searched crypto cryptocurrencies in 30 u.s states that's right in 30 states people are checking out those two cryptos and uh with the information going on those do look like solid uh solid investments uh to say the least uh, as far as getting more bang for your buck uh, so moving along we also have crypto lender celsius network invest 300 million in north american bitcoin mining operations that's right you heard that correct uh, North America is mining Bitcoin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Celsius getting in there, investing all that money that they're making from loaning out cryptocurrencies and value. Next article. Institutional investors need the right partner for a regulated crypto world. Well, what could they be talking about? Financial authorities around the world are ramping up regulations on the crypto industry. This should be welcomed by all uh, but the most diehard crypto fans. Increased regulation introduces rules and standards that make it harder for bad actors to commit fraud and encourages widespread adoption. These are factual things here, people. In the United States, behind the scenes, negotiations are underway to divvy up crypto regulation responsibilities between the many competing agencies under the federal government. These include the Securities and Exchange Commission, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the U.S. Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, the Office of Foreign Assets Control and the Office of Comptroller of the Currency. So, uh, yeah, they're talking currency, security, and uh, and uh, uh, criminal activity. And we knew this was coming. That just helps us understand that we are in the correct space. It is here, and it's not going anywhere. We're just getting regulation on it. All right. Now we've got another article. Latin America. Uh, e-commerce giant Mercado Libre to enable crypto investments in Brazil. All right, so Brazil back in the news. Uh, they will uh, they will be doing major things in the crypto space as well, and this should help bring our market cap up. Another article. Uh, let's see. Brazil central bank plans to launch a CBDC pilot in 2022. Yeah, that's right. Brazil is really in that space. They're trying to get their own central bank digital currency in Brazil itself. That's awesome news. City to expand digital assets division with 100 new hires. Citibank is coming into that space because they have to. Everybody's got to come into this space. I said this before. I said, you know what? We've got a $2 trillion market cap. In the United States, we're holding over $200 trillion of value assets and money in the United States. And I say, look, that space is that that money has to come into this crypto space alone. Just the United States. I'm not talking about any other countries, nations or anything. I'm just talking about the United States holding over $200 trillion worth of value assets and money that has to come into the space whatever you're holding at two trillion dollar market cap right now in the crypto space when the rest of this money from the united states alone comes into the space just do the math all right let's move along how easy is spending bitcoin in el salvador we went to find out El Salvador is positioning itself to be the Bitcoin capital of the world. At the weekend, the country's eccentric president, Nayib Bukele, announced plans to build a Bitcoin city, a tax-free paradise for Bitcoin brothers, uh, the world overpowered by a volcano and funded by Bitcoin-backed bonds. You can spend Bitcoin in El Salvador's gritty and dangerous capital, but only in the right places. Think big chains, McDonald's, Starbucks, Wendy's, with lots of capital and regulations to comply with and outlets all around the world. So uh, as far as that goes, yeah, in El Salvador, you can spend Bitcoin easily in these big companies as they're describing. 
but El Salvador as a whole, they haven't really grasped the concept of cryptocurrencies. It's just like in the United States. People look at it like taboo. Ooh, don't get into that. But that's where we're going inevitably. Obviously, from the news we just saw about what the United States government's doing with the SEC, Comptroller, um, you know, all those different branches and what they're doing with cryptocurrencies. So whether the common folk believe it or not, that's where the currency is going. So, uh, and if big business is already doing it, uh, you heard the term trickle down? Yeah, whether you like it or not. And uh, to close out this video, I just wanted to share a few of the uh, cryptocurrencies out there in the metaverse and gaming space. Uh, you might hear me talk about these different things uh, in, in other videos where I, I, I usually say, you know, that's an awesome space to, you know, get those currencies uh, ready and available because as more people get into that space and start wanting to use that technology, you being a holder of that currency, your your holdings are going to increase in value because people want your holdings so they can, you know, move and, and do things in that space. So I'm going to share uh, the few of them that I'm aware of and that I hold their currency. So the first one I've got is the Sandbox, right? Sandbox coin. Now you can do some research and pull up Sandbox coin, do a quick Google search on it, pull that up, check it out. It's a metaverse coin. It's, it's, a, it's a gaming uh, coin and uh, it's doing good numbers. Uh, there's also Decentraland Mana. Anybody that's using Coinbase, you can already see how that grows in value. Uh, and it's been sit, it's set low for a long time. So I know a lot of you holders out there, you were like shocked to see your value jump up in over a few days. Like, wow, what the world? That's how it's going down. There's a $2 trillion market cap in the United States alone. You got $200 trillion yet to come into this space. So don't be shocked at that, that small jump because that's a small jump. $2 trillion versus $200 trillion. That jump you saw, that wasn't even a jump. That was like tripping over a, a pebble that shouldn't have even been noticed. But you noticed it. Wait till you see what's coming next. Ultra IO. This is an actual gaming platform. Uh, they're doing wonderful things. They've actually had a major jump in value. And that's still a pebble on the grand scale. Again, 2 trillion versus 200 trillion you do the math more to come with that also gala games gala games is doing a lot of different things i would i would advise we all check these things out gala gala coin um, gala.com gala.io just do a gala gala coins uh search on google and and find out more information and just you know see these are some of the different things you can get involved with uh, and again gala's been making major moves in value but again it's still pebbles in the grand scheme of things so that's all i've got for this video if you enjoyed the video hit the like button please hit the subscribe button because you know hit that subscribe button okay and you can also hit that bell for notifications because you thought the video was pretty good and you was like yeah he did give me the information i needed i mean because i just really wanted to know what was going on in the crypto space and, and bro was like yo bro this was going on in the crypto space so uh yeah you can hit that bell for notifications